Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another episode of Love Sick. I don't care what you say, it is time to turn up in this series. Okay, we had a little bit of a slow start, and we're basically watching a reality TV show with our Sims from Love Sick, and I'm going to give you what you asked for, at least for right now. We are currently at Naval's apartment. Now, Naval, I know you're like, who is that? Especially if you're new to the series, that is going to be Madison's biological father. We are social bunny friends and <laughs> we're friends and she is our daughter. They look so much alike, so much alike, it's crazy. Anyone that is watching this series right now is trying to figure out what this series is about, what the ranting and raving is for, or you have been a supporter of Love Six since the first season, or even the second season. I've had people jump in from the second season. And so this episode is for you because a lot of people have been wanting to know what is his life like? So I'm like, eh, you know, I'm gonna slip this in here at least for a day or so. So right now I'm going to have him actually call Lizbeth. Obviously they don't have the best romantic relationship. They should have no romantic relationship at all because Lizbeth is his, well, ex-lover. They were never together. So truly an ex-lover here. And he's calling and he's asking, you know, hey, I know it's Madison's, you know, last day on break. I see on Social Bunny that she was uh, vacationing with Alden. And I was wondering if I could, I don't know, maybe have her the last weekend of vacation. And she's like, um, why won't you call her? You know, she's old enough to the point now where she would make her own decisions. First, let me get in his mind really quick and let me make sure that we, <laughs> she is his only friend. Let me make sure that we also add our potential lover, Tabitha Calderon, which if you really pay attention to the series, you will know that she was Lizbeth's landlord from season two can't make this up he uses social bunny as you can see as a way to contact his daughter and to see what she's up to he doesn't really have any other friends there i'm going to have him maybe have a little friendly conversation madison your hair is looking fabulous so he's commented on a picture of hers or something and he's like wow your hair looks great it's pretty late i should probably have him call it a night here right um but i think in the morning he'll probably ask uh madison what she wants to do for the last day of summer because we're actually going to go back to lisbeth's household and um play with them for a little bit because Lisbeth didn't really have them for the summer you know they've been on vacation but I can go ahead and give you a tour of the new apartment he can't leave Evergreen Harbor I think he really loves it here it is a two bedroom very spacious I feel like Naval would have a, a good grip on life now and loosen up on the the bachelor pad look I mean it still kind of looks that way but at least you know we got a little bit of comfort <laughs> it's a little bit more comfort comfortable here i guess you could say but i really love his place and how i did it here is his kitchen as you can see he's a little bit of a uh messy eater <laughs> this is the guest bedroom but it is also supposed to be madison's room so he was trying to take steps into making a space for his daughter now i know some of you probably were wondering hmm, what is up with naval and what was wrong with him so naval was actually suffering from a drinking addiction he did go down a very bad hole because he was that heartbroken over losing lizbeth lizbeth used naval as a fix and that's truly all he was she has no in love feeling um she was quite blinded so if she looks back at the past it's very blinded they have amazing compatibility but there are still some things that you know, he can't fulfill for Lizbeth, um, but his woohoo game is strong and uh, it was great while it lasted. And so I do feel for Naval. I feel for him in the way where I feel like he would have put a ring on Lizbeth's finger. He was absolutely infatuated with that woman and he still kind of has feelings for her. If I'm being completely honest, he really does. He went through a little bit of a depression, kind of drank himself out a little bit. And I'm just going to have him like wake up here just so we can see his body. He did, um, have a little extra weight you know he put a little extra uh, weight activity activity withdrawal his energetic lifestyle so he needs to get his blood pumping he has put on a little bit of weight throughout the series naturally and all oh, he wants to flirt with his with his little potential boo he might even just give her a call just to say like hey you know i can't sleep this happens a lot he can't sleep he gets up in the middle of the night and you know it gets lonely living this life it really does he 
uh, is now a freelance programmer. At the start of the series, he was an engineer. He had a great job with a great company, but it was a lot to keep up with and demanding, especially for what he was going through. Because he does have programming level eight, he was like, eh, how about I just be my own boss for a little bit and not work for a company and stress myself out? He makes enough money just to, you know, survive and do the basic things but he's not really uh requiring much from life i guess you could say i'm gonna come over here and we are going to make us a good old let's see cup noodles we're definitely gonna do some hot pockets <laughs> 3 a.m making hot pockets this is the life that i wanted to capture for naval because i do feel like it's important to show that single life it gets really lonely it gets really lonely just standing in front of the microwave waiting for your food and wishing you had someone to hold he's really hoping to hear back from Madison I think in the morning he'll he'll send her a text and see what's up with that which I really hope that she does want to spend time with him he doesn't know what to do but he's trying to slowly reach out um, a lot of you assumed or wanted Naval to go to uh, some sort of rehab because some of you actually picked up on the fact that Naval was suffering from an addiction you are so right and I didn't want to play that out because I had other interest in playing certain things but it definitely made everything come together so he did go kind of AWOL for a little bit on his daughter and responsibilities as a father to her he's super focused right now so I think what he could even do is probably we could probably pick up a gig um but I don't know if I feel like uh doing anything too hard redacted is actually making seven thousand simoleons uh this might be hard to pass up it's some nice confidential work that he could probably work on so he basically said uh forget sleep i think i'm gonna go ahead and try to work on something you know great opportunity here and i'm gonna work in my underwear that's the great thing about being a freelance programmer what's funny to me is that naval mainly has relationships with women uh he has no guy friends and you can tell that he heavily relies on a woman's companionship he has an energetic lifestyle so i'm gonna probably have him go for a little bit of a, a jog here alcohol actually really does sometimes just make you blow up in your tummy so i really want to show that there he just ran past the burnt house it's still not fixed do you see this look at the cracks look at the garden there's a garden back here look at the weeds growing wow and now i'm going to have him <sighs> You know what, he's probably going to send a text to Madison because he's too afraid to call and ask. He's gonna say, hey, um, how do you feel about spending tonight over at my place and we hang out Sunday or you know, your last day of summer. So he's anxiously waiting for a response, <laughs> poor thing. Madison is up early, she's excited. She's making a grand breakfast right now, the pancakes, the whole nine yards. And obviously a girl, Matt, I said Madigal, <laughs> Madigal, Abigail is up early playing some Stardew Valley. Now, as you can see, her blonde has kind of grown out a little bit and she's back to brown. Um, and I know it seems like pretty fast, but I just felt like, you know, I just, this hair, like hair length is so signature for her, but I do feel like she may go all blonde one day, like maybe at the end of uh, her school year or whatever whatever the case may be. Oh, stormy, you cutie pie. But they are cooking and she's like, oh yeah, you're checking your phone. Um, Dad texts me. He asked if I wanted to spend the weekend with him. She's like, oh yeah, about that. He actually called me and I told him to text you. And she's like, mom, <laughs> but she doesn't care. She knows like her mom would rather her decide. She's like, well, you know, after we're done going to the spa, whatever, because Elizabeth wants to take them to the spa. You know, she wants some time with her girls too for the summer. She's like, maybe you could spend the night there. Um, there's tons of stuff to do at Evergreen Harbor. You guys go to the pool or whatever the case may be. Naval isn't necessarily a deadbeat dad but he was absent, you know, he was an absent father because he was dealing with his own stuff and we all deal with our own things, you know, and it's understandable, but at the end of the day, you have a responsibility to your children and I stand by that. And I love Elizabeth because she's an advocate of Madison spending time with her dad. She's like, listen, I don't care what you do, but you only have one dad. I mean, technically you have two, but he, he loves you, kiddo. He's just, he's got his own thing going on, but he loves you and I don't know. And she's like, I literally never go over there. <laughs> like, she's like, well, I heard that he's got a little room set up for you. Maybe you could make that your own, you know? Abigail probably heard a little bit of that. And she's like, wait, so you're going to your dad's? And Madison's like, mm, I don't know. It's still up in the air. Abigail's happy to hear that because while they were on vacation, you know, Naval was texting her on social bunny. And Abigail was like, hey, you know, at least your dad is trying. You know, you got to give him that. 
So, you know, Abigail doesn't judge Naval and she's also not in Madison's shoes and she doesn't know that empty feeling of getting to know your dad or, you know, she did, she's not really in her shoes, but she is giving positive advice. Oh no, she's sad because I keep forgetting that she is a vegetarian and we can't have a grand breakfast. She's like, I don't know, I guess I could go. I mean, it's like one night. Now, if it was more than one night, she probably wouldn't. But she's like, I guess I could. I mean, I haven't really seen him. He's trying, you know, he's trying. Mom's chatting with Gage. I try to keep that realism. You know, it's 11 a.m. She's getting that good morning text. You know, hey, babe, hope your day goes great. Hope you enjoy, you know, your day with the girls. Gage is like, you know, um, I can send you all a little something, something you know, for the, uh, oh, no, Elizabeth has work? No way. No. Got to get off the phone really quick, babe, because I apparently have work. And I'm not supposed to have work. All right, let's take a vacation day. I should not have work today, girls. I have to call the job because I cannot come in. And she also has to work tomorrow. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, yeah, I, I won't be in. I won't be in. Sorry. Find someone else to do it. And, of course, this is going to be an all-day girls affair. I have mom, Eliana, Lizbeth, Madison, and Abigail all going to the Palm Spa and Wellness now this is relaxation to its highest i mean we are all here chilling enjoying the good vibes elizabeth is feeling so in her element <laughs> i love this for her um i actually think she's gonna come out and probably relax i would have her sunbathe but for some reason like the tanning gets so weird on um everything these girls are so cute i swear they are so stinking cute i love them so much is our grandma getting a Look at our grandma about to get a get a massage. I love that for her. Look, her and Eliana. Eliana's getting a massage. I love that. Elizabeth is gonna have her a little massage. All right, ready for my massage. This is a $300 massage, and in my eyes, Gage has sent simoleons to Elizabeth and uh, paid for the massage, so we're not paying for it. <laughs> so just as fast as that $300 went, or 300 simoleons went, She's good. She's got a boyfriend that's going to pay for everything. So, Lisbeth is chilling, living her best life right now. And that's what we love to see for our girl. She's getting a stone massage, too. I love this. I cannot wait to see more Lisbeth engage. Like, I don't want to rush this LP. I just want to take our time, make it realistic. I literally want a whole episode where we just hang out with them. <laughs> and just love them. Like, we need a vacation stat. Let's go ahead and send Naval a text. And basically what we're saying is... um yeah uh, what time would you want to pick me up today and honestly i bet naval is probably squealing with joy he's probably like wow she really agreed whoa okay so now i gotta i gotta get some food like well, well hey before i pick you up you know maybe around six o'clock uh any snacks you like or she's only gonna be there for a night but she's probably gonna be like um well i'm a vegetarian so anything along those lines you know ah. just make sure you don't have meat products I have not forgotten about Jayla, our little Tartosa romance. She obviously still has a little bit of a crush on her and is still very interested in her. It's just long distance. And so we're going to try and build that relationship up and see where that goes. But at least I know that Madison knows what she wants now. So lots of letters will be sent. Excited, but a little bit nervous. Naval is showing Madison around. She just got here. Him and Lizbeth decided to meet halfway um, in order to have Madison come here and he is so nervous in fact he accidentally forgot to pick up he was in such a rush to get her favorite foods and make sure that it was stocked with everything that he actually forgot to kind of clean up a little bit so he straightened up out here forget the cans and the bottles that are in his room he just wants to make sure that her space and the main space looks good so he is like well uh this is this is it this is where you're your dad is uh, living. She's really stinky, so she's like, ooh, I really need to, like, take a shower. Here's the kitchen. You know, I, I got the tea that you said you liked and um, that you wanted. And he's like, in fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and brew that up right now. So he's brewing up some healthy tea. Um, no, we're not going to prom this time around. But uh, he's like, you know, I'll get that brewing ready to go. Let's grab a drink of this. She's like, wow, thanks, Dad. Okay. And so she's just kind of like taking it all in. He's like, all right, so this will be your space. And she's like, wow. <laughs> okay. He's like, sorry, I just have a bed in here. But if you see any furniture on Simazon or whatever that you want me to order, um, 
you know, you just send it to me and stuff like that. He's like, oh, what do you think? Comfy? And she's like, yeah, it's kind of comfy. It's all right. It's like, yeah, um, I mean, we can go shopping if you need anything. And she's like, it's fine. <laughs> it's really fine. He's like, I didn't know what body wash or whatever you use, but here's the bathroom. I uh, got some towels and stuff for you. He's like, your mom told me that you'd bring your own uh, stuff anyway. So he's going to just like tell a little... Uh, joke or whatever like yeah <laughs> you said you need to take a shower you can go ahead in there and um, i'll probably get dinner started she's like well thanks dad <laughs> i think what we're gonna do is actually make some like she already ate dinner it's like late and she already ate but just to have something you know um i think what he's gonna do is <laughs> probably do baked avocados with eggs because it's something that madison might not expect like wow he's totally putting a cliche on the vegetarian lifestyle but he thought it was a neat idea neat recipe to do and honestly i must admit madison is pretty impressed with the meal right now she's like this is so good Ugh. i would have never thought to put an egg in avocado and i'm a vegetarian how could i not think of this you know she's literally saying mm. <laughs> let's do small talk and get to know he's like yeah you know i was just uh, looking up recipes when you told me about the whole vegetarian thing and, and i saw you uh shared on your story this recipe so. <laughs> she's like yeah i follow a lot of like vegetarian simstagrams and everything what's that sound oh great apartment life i forgot when we used to live in the apartment he used to get like that too um he's like oh yeah i forgot you used to live in the apartment but we're gonna take a picture because shout out to our dad um, for making this. She knows that he said that she could, you know, browse the web and see if it was anything that she wanted for her room. So she's kind of looking around, but it's she's also not really taking it seriously because she's like, I'm literally here for one night. <laughs> so we're probably not gonna fill up this room or add any furniture, you know, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> so she'll just put her bags here for now and get kind of comfortable the best way that she can. Naval is up already, ready to go. I mean, ready. He's he's excited. He's actually going to uh, freshen up, kind of look at himself like, wow, like, you know, okay, I'm a whole dad. <laughs> and he's going to uh, put on some clothes and, you know, look nice for the day. And then we're going to make some avocado eggs and toast we're on an avocado kick and we have a lot of them and he knows he probably might not eat these when madison leaves so he's gonna cook that up and i should probably change his outfit because it's probably gonna be a um hot day today's the first day of fall already oh my goodness school starts tomorrow so we don't really have long with madison so we're just gonna like do everything up look at the eggs boiling morning hey uh, <laughs> avocados again uh yep but this time it is avocado toast <laughs> and she's just like all right you know there's other vegetables <laughs> i'm kidding well wait avocado has a seed so isn't it a fruit i'm gonna have him turn on sitcom central and she's like what is this and he's like oh i just i love watching these uh little sitcoms and she's like really you don't think they're kind of like cheesy and he's like i don't know i always admire the family dynamic you know i never really had a close family so i would like live vicariously through these people and she's like that's funny she's like yeah um i did want to go to the library he loves yeah. books you know he's got his bookshelves and everything and he is a programmer <laughs> he is very smart he's totally down to go to the library so he's like all right like all right let's go ahead and go on the way to the library um we actually stopped here at the subway station and madison is like wow like this reminds me of sam my wow there's a little skating rink here and he's like uh yeah it's well i wouldn't say abandoned but no one really comes here anymore she still remembers how to skate from when he took her when she was a little kid do you all remember when he took her ice skating so this is kind of like a full circle moment and i honestly didn't even think that we were gonna do this but he's going to um watch her and it just reminds him like wow like i remember when she was just a little girl you know and i feel like crap because 
I was so stuck in my own stuff that I couldn't even, you know, wake up and smell the coffee a bit. And it's funny because the last time that they went skating, she took a picture of her dad. She just thought he was the coolest guy ever. But now she's like, wow, you're in green and uh, the trees look kind of cool behind you. <laughs> it's pretty aesthetic, dad. He's like, I don't know how the kids pose these days. <laughs> I feel like Naval is like, um, how about one together? You know? Uh, and she's like, sure. <laughs> Oh my goodness, they look just alike. They literally look just alike. I'm screaming. We are in Windenburg right now, and the reason why we are here is because I feel like it's pretty close to Evergreen Harbor, to be honest with you, because of like the mountains. I always felt like this, let me just pause it, like these mountains look like evergreens on the other side. So we were just at the subway station, and now he's like, uh, did you make a wish? And she's like, oh wait, I forgot to make a wish. And he's like, yeah, make sure you make a wish. It's like, all right, cool. They're also going to come over here. They're actually going to go to a library out here. And Naval is going to tell her all the stories of when he was a college student. And he used to come out here and at this specific library <laughs> and study. So we're going to go to the Quad Manor Library. And they're going to come over here. And Naval is going to say, I think I could go for a cup of coffee. Did you want something? You know, something yummy over here. Ooh, they actually have the apple spice nog out already. I forgot the first day of fall. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. She's like, apple spice nog, is that good? He's like, yes. And you have to have a carrot cupcake. Uh, so he's going to have a carrot. Well, she's going to have a carrot cake cupcake. It's crazy how they mesh. It's awkward in the sense that they're not really around each other, but it's like it's familiar in this weird way also so it's kind of interesting how that works he went to college here he's like yeah i went to college here and i used to study a lot in this library it's gonna get a renovation soon so <laughs> guess i'm not gonna leave this library here y'all this is a bonding moment like we don't have to speak we don't have to do a lot but our presence here together in this library that's so quiet and peaceful like this is great for her is, is someone crying in the closet console okay like, is someone crying in the closet? Okay, I think dad's gonna check it out. And Madison's probably like, dad, what are you doing? Hey, hey, come out. Hey, I promise I don't bite. I just wanna make sure you're okay. And honestly, just seeing her dad do this, she's like, oh my God, my dad's really sweet. Are you all right? Hey, man. Um, let's do a cheerful introduction. Hey, is everything all right? You're crying in the library closet. What, well, okay, well, look. <laughs> Madison's like, well, that was a scene out of a movie. Okay. He's like, yeah, you never know what you're going to see in Windenburg. Like I said, some of these college kids, like I'm kidding. I don't know why he was crying in the closet, but I'm not going to chase him. But that was pretty nice of dad to like actually check on the person in the closet. And now I think we're actually going to take Madison over here to this little chest garden looking thing and kind of bond over there too and probably chat a little bit and then probably grab a bite to eat before she has to head back home because uh, she has to be home at least around like five or six to get ready for school because her first day of school is tomorrow. I kind of like this discuss fears option. I feel like he would probably discuss his fears as a kid. Like I used to be afraid to... Uh, come here and get lost <laughs> he's just talking i wanted him to get that out the way um proceed that or narrate that however you think he's gonna express his admiration like wow like you really i love reading and um i'm really proud of you your your grades and everything she's like oh how sweet madison really appreciated receiving such kind attention from naval just now that affection made her feel extra special i think she does like affection she loves that he acknowledges the fact that she's worked so hard and the cool thing is they actually shared um new skill day together and they both built skills and naval really loves skill improvement and it's kind of cool that they spent that together and he actually has parenting level two now which is crazy because he i mean he's that low in the parenting bar he doesn't have any kind of <laughs> parenting here is the restaurant i think it's called what olivia's garden or something but we went here season one um if you've watched season one of lovesick you recognize that this is the restaurant that alden absolutely loves and went to to celebrate his promotion with lizbeth madison is going to have the pasta primavera because that is a vegetarian dish and even though he would love to have a steak or even lobster tortellini <laughs> I think uh, Naval is going to have uh, some butter gnocchi, something vegetarian to also just show his support for his daughter's life choices. I think that this will lead to a deep conversation where she might even ask him like, so 
what made you ask me to spend time? And he's like, well, I've been asking you on Social Bunny for a while, and um, I know you're busy and everything, but uh, I just, um, I'm settling in to life, and I just, it's hard, because she can't really ask him, like, where have you been all my life? This looks really good, Dad. He's like, yeah, this looks amazing. So are you excited for the school year? Uh, how was your vacation? And she's like, it was actually really good. Um, I actually ended up meeting um, someone. And it's funny because she hasn't even really like told <laughs> her mom this yet. Right here, Madison is telling him about Jayla. And like, yeah, she likes this and that. And she's really cool. And I'm kind of nervous because I feel like we might not keep in touch. She didn't say anything about having a crush on her yet. But he, she's just kind of telling him like, yeah, you know, I think she's really cool. And I miss her and all that stuff like that. And he's just like, oh, man. Like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Every time we're trying to talk and get to know each other, Lizbeth is calling to chat. Okay, mom. Oh, wait. Mom's calling. <laughs> he's like, oh, man. She might be asking where you are. It is seven. So he's going to pay the bill and rush her home. She's like, yeah, um, Dad's just paying for the food right now. And I'm on my way. She's like, school's tomorrow. Tell him to hurry up. You need to be here by eight. How was it? She's like, oh, Hey, Mom. We missed you, even though it was only for a night. She's like, yeah, you probably could have stayed longer. <laughs> well, how was it? It was cool. I need Madison to, like, tell a story. That's what I'm trying to do. I keep, like, <laughs> going over here. But Madison is going to tell a story. Um, tell a funny story. She's like, yeah, I mean, we had fun. You know, we... I mean, he has a little room for me. It's pretty bare bone, but it was our eight. And he like showed me a while around Windenburg. She's like, Windenburg, really? He went to college over there. That's crazy. She's like, how was that? And I'm um, just hearing that they had a good time. Lisbeth is like, well, that's good to know. I'm glad you had fun. And so with that being said, she's probably gonna come over to her room and the glory of stories. Abigail can't get enough of the stories. Yeah, she likes stories. She's like, tell me more. Like, what else did you do? She thinks it's so exciting, you know, because they do have a different dynamic. And I think what we're going to do is go ahead and call Naval and just say like, hey, you know, I'm glad that everything uh, went well. You know, she 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 really appreciates that he did that. So when's the next time you're going to see your dad? She's like, I have no idea, but I'm just focused on what I'm going to wear tomorrow. And she's like, she's like, what are you going to wear? She's like, well, whatever you choose, please don't wear that sweater tank top combo you have on right now and she's like are you serious shut up <laughs> she does they have two different styles so abigail's trying to play her and she's it's just a joke and she's like no you're going down now but i hope you all enjoyed this if you did uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep swimming always 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 stay with me and i'll see you in the next video peace out